I'm just getting all of my alcohol ink shaken up real well. This is what we're going to be doing. This technique is called the blooming ink. I've done it several times on trays and on coasters and stuff, but until today I had never done it on a cup, on a tumbler. So I tried it and it looks really awesome, I think. So let me just shake up real well. Most of the ink that I'm using in this is my DIY inks. Um, I have two that are Ranger, and the rest of them, I have made all of them myself. But I'm also using Jacquard White. So I've already, well, this is what we're doing. It has all the swirls in it. You paint your, um, your cup a base coat of black. I've seen it done with other colors, but the black just really seems to pop with all of the different colors. So that's what I wanted to use. Um, this one has a second coat of epoxy on it. So what you do is you base coat your, your cup, put your epoxy on, heat it up, and let it spin and level out a bit. You want more than you would use if you're doing uh, glitter with the epoxy because you want your inks to flow real well. So you do need a little bit more and that's why you wanna heat it up before you stop dropping your, uh, start dropping your inks on it. So all you do is get it, get it going and then you just drop ink. Some of the colors you won't be able to see very well because it is on black. I wanted to show y'all real quick too. These, this is a little scary looking tree and then the dragon. Um, I'm gonna be doing a live using those coming up real soon. But again, you just drop your ink. Don't forget the bottom and you want it to run. And like I said, a lot of it you won't even be able to see on here because it's a dark cup. And then you just start putting it on. Anytime you use alcohol inks, you want to make sure that you shake them real well because they do separate. So give them a good shake before you use them. And there's no pattern to this. You just start dropping. You're going to have colors running over each other. Which is okay because that's what gives you all the different colors on here. With just a little bit of ink. And that's from where the colors mix together. Because this has no yellow in it whatsoever. It has very little orange but you can see all of the different colors that are in it. And I didn't put as many on that one as I'm putting on this one. So the colors will blend. And you just keep dropping it on there. When you get through with your inks, immediately put the lid on them because they will start drying out because it's alcohol and alcohol dries very fast. And now if you're doing your DIY alcohol, letting them dry out sometimes helps because it will intensify the color that you have used. And I'm sorry y'all, I can't see comments very well. Hey from Florida. Hey Florida, me too. Are you close to the hurricane? Hey, Rosanna. Rosanna was supposed to do this live with me today. But she was busy on other channels too. 
and we hadn't really practiced and I just jumped out here today and thought, well, I'm just going to see what happens. And as you see, or you can see me dropping, all you do is put it on there randomly. Like I said, there's no pattern in it whatsoever. But the magic starts when you put the white on. Because you put all your inks on, and then you go back and put white. And that's what makes it swirl. And you want, you know, a good amount of ink um, so that when you put the white, most of your cup is going to be covered with a color. Otherwise, you'll just have a black cup. I might need to hit this with a heat gun real quick. And take your inks all the way up to your edge, whether it's a, a wine glass or a tumbler or whatever. And yes, I know I should wear gloves. Can y'all even see what I'm doing? Let me turn you around. Is that better? Okay, I got inks on here. Let me hit this real quick with the heat gun and get it moving. my white in the big bottle and so I have it doesn't come with a dropper and then you just start dropping your white on sometimes this pattern works sometimes not so much it's kind of a hit and miss as to whether it's gonna work or not Just a minute you'll see it start to swirl and the ink will come through that white you see how it's starting to show through and you do get a, a sales with this a little bit you don't get a whole lot but you'll get the little spots in there which make it look really cool And there's no set amount as to how much white you put on here. It's strictly up to you. <coughs> Excuse me. As it's turning, it will keep changing. So you can walk away from it looking like this. And when you come back, it could look completely different. So it's whatever you want to do as to how much black you want to show through. And you want to do it where it kind of runs. And I think I'm pretty much done. I'm going to let it turn and look at it. I'll put one right there. Starting to get some really cool looking colors in here. put this down before I just keep going and that's all you do you want to let it turn a bit and then you'll go back and hit it with your heat gun and make it run some more but this is a simple 
quick technique. You can use your DIY alcohol ink, because like I said, that's mostly what mine is. Um, there's only two colors here and the white that are actually purchased. The rest of them I have made. Now, if you're doing this on a tray or a coaster or something, you can keep layering your uh, colors. You'll put down the white, I mean the, the colors, you'll just kind of drop them all around and then you go back with the white and then that causes it to kind of spread out and then you just keep layering color, white, color, white until it gets the look you want. And they are, all right, that stuff turns out beautiful. I'm gonna hit this with the heat gun real quick. And I had just put another coat of epoxy over this cup before I came on, so I want to make sure I got the bubbles popped on it. There's no more swirling going to take place on this one because it's already dry. This is just the second coat. It took me longer to get set up than it does to make the cup. So that's just how fast it is. And you just heat it up and once you see it starting to swirl and run pretty good, then you stop, you've done enough. And the inks and epoxy will do the rest and your turner. And you just let it turn and swirl. I've seen them where they come out looking completely different from this but I'm glad that I, I got this technique down because this is the way I like mine but uh, this is a, a cheap dollar, uh, dollar Tree wine glass and all I did was washed it down with alcohol I used denatured alcohol which is 99% uh, spray painted it and the color I spray painted it with was Rust-Oleum Metallic Oil Rub Bronze. So it's not even a complete black, but I thought that little bit of metallic under it would make it look a little bit better, and it did. I really like the way it looks under there. All right, guys, so that's it. I'll let you get back to what you're doing. Um, Tomorrow, when this is dry, I'll come back on and show it to you and let you see how it looks finished. But there's some really awesome colors starting to mix in here. And y'all go try it. It's super easy. Like I said, you can do it with your, your DIY ink. doesn't have to be expensive. Store-bought stuff. You do want to use the Jacquard White for some reason. This seems to be the one that works the best with this process. But the rest of it, you can use whatever you have or whatever you make. Just make sure you get the Jacquard white. And that's it.
Thanks for joining me, and y'all have a great evening. And like I said, I'll come back tomorrow and show you how it turned out. Thank you.